Welcome back to Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Kev, thanks for watching. Today we're in the southern section of Kaurangi National Park in Matuli Valley, um, heading up to a thousand acre plateau. I've got my brother Warren with me, and uh, hopefully over the next couple of days we've got three huts, two mountains, and uh, one very large landmass. So it uh, should be a good couple of days. So, uh, situated on the shores of Lake Materi is the Lake Materi hut, so that's hut number one. Eight bunks, uh, nice clean looking hut, fantastic view out over the lake. From here we've got a uh, 700 metre vertical climb onto um, the Thousand Lake Plateau and then we're off to uh, Paul Pete's hut after that, so uh, in for a bit of a climb. Right, so we're probably about a third of the way up, our way up the plateau. Um, the walk into the Theory Hut was along a nice road, using predominantly what had been um, used for the Theory Hydro project. Going up here to the plateau, however, is very much just a hiking track over uh, roots, and she's uh, straight up. In here we've got an example of a purple pouch fungus. So uh, these grow up in the litter of beech forests and uh, never actually open, they have to be broken open to uh, spread their spores. So uh, quite a lot of different sort of mushrooms on the way up here. So here we have the uh, New Zealand's favourite mushroom. Weary Weary Kokako also features on the $50 note. behind me in the background, I don't know if you can make it up on the camera. So it's taken us about three hours to get up here from uh, the Maturi Lake hut. So that's a bit longer than what it um, took the end from the road into Matera Valley, which is about 45 minutes. So our second hut, Paul Pete's hut, with a uh, nice wee veranda, which is pretty handy how muddy it is. Um, quite small, just two bunks. Our original hut was built in 1956 by Peter James, who his uh, next job after he was uh, finishing building was to go and get married. Hence the name Paul Pete. Not sure if that relates to um, the Mr's fiance or who's getting married, but surely if it was the latter, it would be called Bloody Good Luck Pete's Hut. So hut number three, our final hut, um, pretty full, so we'll be out under the tarp. Um, Alaraka Creek hut, um, four bunks, also got an uh, open fireplace, which is a bit unusual. 
and this has been done up recently by the Backcountry Trust and they've done a marvellous job, it's looking pretty fantastic. How's the night Kev? Uh, pretty cosy, not only rain so that was good, hopefully we can be up, up the needle for sunrise. So we've uh, made a pretty early start in the dark but uh, just getting a bit of light now and we're pushing on up towards the needle and the 100 acre plateau also known as the Devil's Dining Table and uh, the old cliffs up there on the edge of the 100 acre plateau look absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, the fog has rolled in again, so uh, cut down visibility quite a lot. So we're uh, camped out sort of uh, quite near the top of the needle. Um, she's got very, very foggy. Can't see very much, so we've just uh, chucked on some clothes and we're sitting and hopefully going to wait it out. It's a bit bloody cold and misty up here, Kev. How are you feeling? I uh, got cold toes, but the rest of me is pretty cosy. But um, it'd be nice, it'd be nice if it cleared and we could get up to the uh, to the needle. I think we might struggle to get across to the haystack today, though. We're well, showing a little bit of clearing. Oh, he might get up there yet. So we've uh, made up to the top of the needle. She's uh, still pretty pretty claggy. Can't really see anything. So um, we might uh, head back down, but certainly. That uh, brings us to the end of our trip. In the end, we spent night three in the uh, Maturity Lake Hut outside again in the tarp because there's lots of people. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd uh, like to see some more, hit subscribe and we'll uh, see you next time.